Last night, my wife and I did a little exercise, and you can do this with your spouse if you like. It's to tell one another what you want on your epitaph. And so, as soon as you start thinking about it, one thing comes to mind, I think, ego comes to mind. I want to be remembered in a positive way. You know, like we all want to be thought of in a positive way, and certainly on our epithet, I don't want people demeaning me or thinking I was a nobody or a failure. And so I was thinking of that, and then I was thinking of Jagannath das, ba Jagannath das Babaji, who said before he was leaving his body, when I die, drag my body through the streets so people can see here, oh, here's what a materialistic man is like. So they get a clear picture of what a materialistic person is like. So this very evolved devotee, is exhibiting this intense humility. His epithet is, here lied a materialistic person. So I was reflecting. It's a good reflection. You know, what do you want people to remember about you? And then this morning, I had a thought. And this thought is very constant. So I want to give you my epithet. And perhaps we could save this video and use it again someday in the future. Of course, I'm going to live to be 108, so it's going to be a while. It's going to be another 39 years. But this is the concept. I've always felt that I am not special in any way. The only thing special is that I have a very special spiritual master. And because I have a special spiritual master, whatever specialness I've been able to exhibit, achieve, create, that you or what you see in me or think you see in me, is coming from him. Otherwise, I'm just an ordinary person. So I often say, I am just an ordinary person who has an extraordinary spiritual master. An ordinary person who becomes extraordinary, if you think I'm extraordinary, I'm not saying I'm extraordinary, but if you, if you think or see anything in me which you think is special, that's because I have a special spiritual master. So Srila Prabhupada said, Mahatma is one who becomes great by serving the great. You also become Dharatma, low, by serving the low. So this is a physical principle in, in terms of association. You become great by serving the great. So what I, how I would like to be remembered is that I am not great. I am a servant of the great. That's what my name means. It doesn't mean I'm great. I'm a servant of the great. I, whatever greatness I can exhibit, is only because I'm serving the great. And the real message is that you also can become great, and you shouldn't think that I was born great, that I was born special, or born any different than you. But I've taken the mercy given by Srila Prabhupada, tried to practice it, tried to put it to use as best I could, and therefore whatever good has come from that mercy you'll see manifested in me. It is not inherently within me. It's not who I am. I'm just a fallen, conditioned soul. And I don't want people to think I'm special because if you think I'm special, then you'll think, well, I could never be like him because he's special. He must have been born a devotee. Yes, I have attraction for Krishna. Yes, I was somewhat detached as a teenager, somewhat philosophical, but I was also a conditioned soul who has all the defects and attachments and raised with sex, drugs, rock and roll. So those qualities or tendencies I have are insufficient to make me Krishna conscious unless combined with the Sangha service of a pure devotee and following their instructions. So my epithet to you, is, my epithet is really a message to you that you should never think that you cannot be great, you cannot be pure, you are not the chosen one, you are not special like the Prabhupada disciples or the senior people. Don't ever think that way. You become great by serving the great. That is my epithet to you. Become Mahatma by serving the Mahatmas. You will become extraordinary 
by serving the extraordinary people. And you can become extraordinary. And not only can you become extraordinary, Prabhupada wants you to be extraordinary because we need extraordinary people to spread Krishna consciousness. The world needs extraordinary people. There's plenty of people who are not extraordinary. There's plenty of ordinary people, unfortunately. Too many of the ordinary people have risen to power. The world needs extraordinary people. And you can become extraordinary, not because you're extraordinary, but because Prabhupada's extraordinary and because you serve and follow him.